Hello guys, uh, welcome back to another video. Um, sorry it's been a while since the last one. Um, I caught Covid, uh, started a new job and uh, loads of other things have happened recently so uh, just getting back into it again. But um, we're just going to start off with a, a new thing I found in Aldi. Uh, sorry Lidl, no Aldi, Lidl. Uh, so let's go through some of the uh, ingredients that we're going to use. Okay, so here's what we've got. I found this in Lidl, actually. Uh, Jamie Oliver, make your own rustic pizza base. Comes with two sashes, makes one pizza. Um, I haven't seen this before, it's probably been out a while, but... There's the instructions. Makes a 150 gram pizza dough. There's a method. So if anybody's interested, there you go. Uh, unfortunately, the wife wants to try this, so she wants some black olives on it. Um, I also found this in Morrison's, um, so I thought I'd get a try. Everything you need for the top of a pizza, really, for a pound. So uh, this stuff will begin on it, and then Mitte pizza sauce. Now I've seen this before, but it's always been quite expensive. Uh, I managed to get this tin for one pound fifty, but even then, I still think that's expensive. Um, you see a video on the channel for the Asda pizza sauce in a jar, seventy five pence. Now that's quite nice. Now. Normally this is about £2.50 I think, but uh, for a pound fifty, I'm willing to give it a try. Um, so hopefully it's quite nice. But there you go. That's what we've got. Now, just in the off chance that this pizza base isn't very nice, uh, or we don't like it, I've also made up some of my own pizza base, um, or pizza dough, uh, that's over. Just getting a, a one hour rise at the moment, so that should be ready roughly about the same time. So we'll be making a, a couple of pizzas. Um, so let's get started. Almost forgot, this stuff's going on as well. This again was from Tesco, it was £1.10 for six slices. So just go through the costs, one pound ten, one pound, one pound fifty, this was ninety nine pence, and these were sixty. So hopefully this will make uh, a good few pizzas, so we'll have a couple tonight and then uh, if I can squeeze some more out we'll get them cut up and wrapped and get them in the freezer for later. Okay guys, welcome back. Um, so this is the, the rustic pizza base, that's all you get in the packet. You have your flour mix and a small bag of, what do they call it, semolina sprinkle. So the corner instructions, you just chuck it in a bowl, make a well, add a hundred ml of water, half a teaspoon of oil and mix. Then you knead it for 10 minutes and let it rest for 30 minutes to doubles in size. So uh, I'm just going to do that now. Okay, that's now done. Um, it's not a very big dough ball, but uh, let's see what it says 30 minutes or till double in size. So we'll get it covered and uh, we'll go for there. But while we're waiting, these are the uh, the part baked ones I've made. So one kilo of flour, 14 grams of yeast, some sugar, salt, garlic powder. Gets you enough for six bases, so it's three, four, five. And there's one in the oven at the minute, so you just part, part bake them. Just like ones you buy in the supermarket. You can freeze them, 
bring them out whenever you want them. <clears throat> so uh, I'll be having one of these. And the wife will be having the uh, Jimmy Oliver one. But just on that, another note, I've just opened this. This Mitty pizza sauce, and it's actually quite nice. Um, still don't know if I'd pay the, the 150 for it every time, but we'll wait and see how many pizzas it covers. You know, if you can get the three or four pizzas out of it, then it's not too bad. So, we'll give that dough half an hour. Let it rise, double in size, and then we'll uh, get cooking. Okay, guys, welcome back. Um, a bit of an issue with the, the dough, it doesn't seem to be rising at all, so um, I don't really want to use it in case it's, you know, it's maybe it's just past its shelf life or something, but what we're going to do is we're going to make some pizzas anyway, we're going to use the, the part baked ones that I've done earlier, so um, we'll get started on them now. Right guys, so this is one of the bases. Um, so what we'll do is we'll get some some of this mitty sauce on, and then we'll uh, we'll get start building the uh, actual pizza itself. Oh, splashing it all over the place. <clears throat> right, everybody generally knows how a pizza is made anyway, so uh, we'll stop here and come back when it's done. Right, first pizza made. <clears throat> it's just some of the. Uh, get this made for you. Some of this stuff. The two slices of that actually. And then some black olives and uh, some oregano on the top. I've used this cheese from uh, I think this is for little as well. But it's a fine grated cheese, not like your normal stuff. Um, so we'll give that a try. So we'll get it in the oven, shouldn't take long, 8 to 10 minutes because the crust is already part baked. Uh, and then we'll get back and give you a, show, give you a look. Okay, pizza done, took about 11 minutes. <clears throat> nice and crispy, nice and crispy underneath. So get this cut up, get it fed to the, uh, the missus and then get mine on and I'll uh, show you a taste. I'm not going to taste this one, I can't stand olives. Right, second pizza done. Basically just a meat feast. <clears throat> so uh, let's give it a taste. Okay guys, here's the pizza. Mm. That's really really nice. Really nice. Mm. I might have to change my mind about that mitty pizza sauce. It's very, very nice. Mm. Oh yeah. Basically, there's still enough in the can to do another pizza, so you're looking at one pound fifty will get you three pizzas, and it is quite thick. That little package you got out of this one from Morrison's with the let me just read it: pepperoni, chili cheese, and spicy chorizo. Oh, very nice. Don't know if I'd pay the two fifty for it. Definitely worth a pound in the oops. Lucky I got three packs out, so we'll stick the other two in the freezer, I think. Okay, guys, um, the only thing outstanding is the um, Jimmy Oliver dough started to rise just, but that's about an hour, hour and a half. Um, so, what we'll do is we'll save that for another video. Maybe leave that overnight and then have a go at cooking it tomorrow. Get another video on it for you. Okay guys, uh, I'd just like to thank everybody for subscribing so far, That's, we hit the 200 subscribers mark last week, um, which is brilliant, <laughs> as I said, hoping to get a thousand by the end of the year, but if I do, I'm, I'm quite happy with 
with where the channel's going at the minute, so maybe branch into some other things, um, especially over summer, barbecue and things like that. But um, thanks for watching, guys. I'll always be a pizza channel, so stay tuned.